To create a crisscross neck dress, take your sarong long ways and crisscross it across your chest and tie it in a double knot behind your neck. For a strapless tie dress, you're going to simply tie the long way corners in a double knot at the center of your chest. Turn your sarong sideways so that it's wide behind you and wrap it around your waist to tie a knot to whichever side you prefer. You can either let the leftover fabric hang down or what I like to do to hide it is tuck it around the waist. you're going to do the same thing as a side tie midi skirt but the difference is you're going to start off with the sarong folded in half. You can even wear your sarong as an actual top too, not just as a cover up. Fold the fabric into thirds long ways and then crisscross it across your chest and tie it into a double knot behind your neck. Another way is to wear it as a strapless bandeau with a hanging tie. Just move the knot down from the neck to the center of your chest. If you want to hide the hanging tie, simply tuck the fabric in on the bottom to make it a strapless bandeau. You can also wear it as a tube top by folding it into thirds long ways and then tying it in a knot behind your back. This way is one of my favorites. Turn your sarong sideways and take the top wide corners and tie it into a double knot behind your neck. Then take the bottom wide corners and tie it into a double knot behind your waist. Tuck in the extra fabric into jean shorts or whatever bottoms you prefer. by folding the sarong in half, sideways, and throwing it on top of your shoulders like a shawl. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love how versatile a sarong is because there's so many different ways you can wear it as a cover-up or even as a top. Let me know in the comments down below which look was your favorite and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.